How many of you have ever ridden in or driven for a rideshare company such as Uber or Lyft? Anybody? Show of hands, right? Now imagine getting picked up at your, picked up your job after a long work week, getting dropped off at your favorite bar, get your favorite drink with your favorite mysterious Tinder date, right? Hoping that you forget about and get distracted enough that you forget about the stress of bills and politics long enough that you don't think about your own isolation in a daily grind, right? Now, imagine you get a ride with myself, the Uber rapper. Da 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 da. <laughs> and here's what happens. Now, this isn't karaoke. This isn't something that I, I even prepared beforehand. We're going to make something up on the spot. We're going to improv. So essentially, you get in my car, you get to pick a topic and a style of music, and I make up a song on the spot. For example, somebody may say R&B in Italian food, and I make a love song to pizza, right? So you get to choose hip-hop, reggae, dancehall, funk, R&B, soul. We make it up as we go along, right? Or you get an intuitive reading. Essentially, I tell you about you. It's pretty cool. So essentially, I listen to your voice, and I can pick up on your frequency and your energy field, and I can tell you about your aspirations, your challenges, your way of being, which is pretty cool. Meanwhile, you can try your favorite, my favorite, one of my favorite vegan snacks, or you can get smudged down by Palo Santo, the Palo Santo lover right there. Or you can actually taunt the people at the right next to us, having a boring ride at the light, which is really fun. It's really super fun. Sounds fun, right? But here's the question I have, though. Is ride sharing a form of urban shamanism? I picked up this woman who had just recently got laid off from her male-dominated plumbing job. Our ride together became medicine. Within five minutes, we co-created a soul song about women's empowerment, and by the time she got dropped off at her location, she was smiling through her tears. Over two years, and over 2,000 year, 2000, 2000 rides, my car has become a sanctuary for reinstilling faith. Now, not just reinstilling faith in a single religion or a political candidate, but reinstilling faith and hope that five minutes shared with strangers can become a transformative highlight of our day, right? How many people want to do this right now? Y'all want to get it cracking? So this is what I want you to do. I need audience, I need the audience members. Somebody give me a topic and a style of music. You got hip hop, reggae, dance off, funk, R&B. Shout it out, give me a topic, give me a topic. What do you want to hear about? What's up? You got hip hop, hip hop, okay. Now what style, what, what's the topic? What's the topic of the song? Transformation, boom, clear enough. Let's do it. So many times we go around like, wondering what's coming around corners, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, but transformation, transformation, yo, it's all part of life. Started off as a seed, then you see it like the light. Photosynthesis, it transforms, you go inside the sky. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What's changed, what's changed without it? Because change is the only constant, so we just be about it. That's why I'm standing here with TEDx, yo, it's transformation, education, transforming information as we go with entertainment, because everything is everything, and everything is everything. So lift everything voice and sing. As you look inside of my eyes, you see the light. As I look inside of yours, I see it right back. You're reflected. Transformation, everything elected. Elect yourself like inauguration. Cause you look and stand up on the scale. It's all information. And what you do from that information is transformation. And what you do with that information is transformation. And what you do with that information is transformation. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It said transform. Transform. Change is the only constant. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Transform and everybody transform. Change is the only constant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Booyah. So we just.
By the way, I have my DJ in the back. He was just listening for what style of music. So what happens is usually we make a song and we actually do a co-create with us. Just like some of this talk as we, we've been seeing today already, the speakers we've been seeing today, we actually co-create a song. We, you got a chance to be on a mixtape, so we may do a hip-hop song about transformation, you know, and then you get co-credit for that, right? So that's how we do it. We're collaborating. So in closing, I just want to say this, though. Don't let life be a series of misconnections, you know? You know, whether you're in your commute home or you're at the grocery store or you're at your work, be creative about your own gifts and strengths and how you can share those and be a highlight in somebody else's life. Be creative about how you can shine your light. I mean, just the other day, I was in a car with someone and she said, blues and one day at a time. I didn't know what was going on with this woman, but when she said that, I sang this song for her, and I looked over and I checked her out, and she was crying. She's like, you have no idea what's going on for me right now and how this is medicine for my soul right now. So I just wanna say, creativity, connection, and healing is just a choice away. Thank you very much. Bless.